we come to that point in our order of worship where we come before the Lord in prayer. This is the opportunity that we have each week to lift up those joys, those concerns, those thanksgivings that we might have that we want to share with those of us gathered here and bring before God's throne of grace. As we come together in prayer this morning, I will ask that you uh, lift me up in your prayer. They have told me that uh, the wrist is not healing the way that it ought to heal. And so I've got to go see the wrist specialist now. So uh, uh, they have a specialist for every part, apparently, and then I need to go see the one that deals with the wrist. And I'll see him on August the 31st. So please uh, keep me in your prayers as I continue to uh, deal with the wrist issue. What are some other things we need to lift up in prayer this morning? Rick has a list. Why don't you come to the podium so we can hear? First off, Kathy's dad. Uh, we're dealing with him right now. So, uh, Robert Holbrook, um, things aren't going well with him either. Um, David uh, Burke has had a setback, and Barbara Fry, too. We've, we've prayed for them for a couple years now, so they've all had setbacks. So, uh, Barbara Fry, her, the tumors are shrinking, but the chemo is just is wiping her out. She's got a bacterial infection, and it's just. It's not good. She's had to be in the hospital. And David Burke, I think, finally is going to be put back together again this week, hopefully. So, several. Okay. What else do we need to lift up in prayer? Kim? Here comes Joe. My daughter in law, Stephanie, has a friend. Her name is Andrea Sargent. And um, she has some pretty severe issues and is going into rehab next week or the week after next and um, I just ask that you pray for her. She's about 23 years old and has two little kids and it's a sad situation and has no indication that there's anything wrong and um, she doesn't know the Lord so just pray for her salvation and her willingness to get through it. Okay. Are there others? Kathleen? We're glad you're visiting with us today. What else? Okay, Cindy. Maybe I should have seen if he could put that new head on the weed or that broke it fast. <laughs> Something simple. <laughs> what else we need to lift up? Let's go before the Lord in prayer. <clears throat> As we come before you this morning, Lord, we are aware of the rain that's falling today, of the, the moisture that's being put back into the ground. We are also aware that in some parts of our country, more than enough rain has fallen and that people's lives are in disrepair, to say the least, at, at, at having their lives turned upside down for them because of floods. And Lord, we know that in some parts of the country, the land is dry and it is parched and it needs the rain. It's amazing what simple rain can do for us, Lord. Take it away and we suffer too much and we suffer too often and we complain. Lord, 
we thank you for that rain that falls. For indeed, it nurtures the crops, it provides the water that ultimately we will drink, that will nurture our bodies. And we just ask that you would be with us as we deal with that rain, that physical rain, but also that you would help us with the the rain of your spirit in our lives that spiritual blessing that comes when you nurture our souls. And help us, Lord, to seek to have an abundance of your spiritual essence within us so that when those dry and arid times come, we will be sustained, that we will still be able to to quench the, the desires within us because you are filling our lives. We thank you for each person that's here today. We thank you for each prayer concern that we've offered. And we believe, most gracious God, that you are moving in our midst, that you are blessing us, that you are healing us, that you are guiding us. And so we just turn you loose in, to move in our lives through the power of your Spirit in great and mighty ways. Cleanse us, Lord. Free us, Lord. Heal us, Lord. Let us become what you want us to be. We ask all these things in the name of Christ, who has taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Give us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be world without end.